Asheville is known for many things, music as an art form being one of them. Now Belmont University is launching a collective creating a kind of community for all kinds of musicians, uh, artists rather, not just musicians. Cole Johnson has more. You can find art all around, from the voices in the choir to the very building they're singing in. Here at Belmont University, a new collective is launching where art crosses with faith. The biblical story begins with an extravagant act of creation. And then, remarkably, the God who creates invites humanity to join in the work of making. The two things I believe that we all have in common is searching for that sense of purpose. Why am I here? What am I doing here? And my place of belonging. Where's my tribe? Where's my community? Where am I going to fit in? And it is the work of art among us that helps answer both of those questions. Rick Reckedall is the executive director of the Creative Arts Collective for Christian Life and Faith. The collective was made possible by a $32 million grant from the Lilly Endowment. It's a very exciting opportunity to be able to sit with an artist and say, hey, we think that we could finally give you the support that you're looking for. But it's also a tremendous responsibility. This week, three groups were announced as the first to benefit. One of them is Dwan Hill's organization, The Choir Room, a nonprofit started in Nashville about two years ago, bringing people together to sing. I think this grant partnership is really going to bring life to um, people like me who are artists who have great ideas and great inspiration, but always don't have the strategy or the funds to do what we're dreaming. The collective aims to build community, a network for artists, not just for those in traditional mediums like painting and singing, but in other areas like architecture and animation. It's based at Belmont, but has plans to spread. While we are rooted here, we are already working with uh, partners who are planning to be going uh, nationwide. It's still early for this organization, this but in the coming weeks, artists will learn how they can make a proposal and maybe get help as they pursue their dreams. This grant partnership is going to allow artists like ourselves to not starve, but actually to grow and to multiply and to dream.